I think it's commonly agreed that as teachers, we always try to find ways to make learning more engaging. This pursuit of improved student engagement was the catalyst for the gamification movement, meaning the concept of incorporating game-based elements into everyday tasks and activities to teach, persuade and motivate. At school level, gamification allows us to turn seemingly boring study chores into exciting new challenges. Recent discussions revolve around the potential of gamification and its impact on learning. Let's shape our own view on that now and discover a gamified session together. I decided to gamify my robotic workshop because at the beginning, to be honest, I didn't have the same constraints that my technology courses, which is in the curriculum. Robotic is in the curriculum, but I had more freedom. So I was just asking myself how to engage my students uh, in this robotic workshop. And assessment is not the way to be sure that they will uh, fulfill all my goals. I tried to, to find something, and so I gave some levels, like in a, in a, a video game, for instance, level 1 to 10, they have to achieve and each, each level must be achieved because they manage to fulfill a challenge, you know. So it's a, a color system from white to green or red. The second system, I gave them a diploma each time they fulfill certain steps. In fact, it's very powerful because they love to get a diploma in robotics. The third step is that I set challenges with something fun that can, could be connected sometimes to reality or with something artistic, you know, something that surprised them. What helped me to gamify these lessons is because it wasn't so in technology. So I didn't feel the same constraints, but in fact, the constraints are in our heads, for sure. So if you think out of the box, it can be easily done, and the, the objective is only to empower students. To, de to design the levels, not too difficult, not too easy, to help students to achieve it and keep a motivation. And, uh, you must take into account the fact, the fact that failure is okay too during a game because a game when you lose at the first, you know, first mistake you do is not really a game. So it's important to have that process where students want uh, during the game to um, do it again until they achieve it, but not ten times. I have the right to fail too. <laughs> so if we want to uh, gamify and to say, okay, it's okay to fail. Ourselves, as, as teachers, we, we must be okay with themselves, ourselves to fail. So we try the first year, okay, that's not good, but it's not a problem, we can improve it. And so it's almost yeah, 10 years I teach robotics now, so I have something that works and I know I have some you know, tips I developed for myself. But it's an experiment ongoing, ongoing and ongoing, you know. So to gamify, there is several levers, Rewards first, reward for each step. And this is the most powerful, even one more powerful than my other you know, hints, because students uh, love to have the teacher's signature, you know, that on that day you achieve that and that is the proof. And they love it, they're running for it. The second step is competition, I decided to organized comp competition within uh, the school itself. So for instance, we have at the end of all uh, the robotic workshops in, um, at the end of seventh grade, a uh, sumo workshop. And for a, sum a sumo uh, competition, sumo fight. And so the, the robots must be uh, powerful, the program must be really good, and they have to modify the robot itself. So we have all the skills for that final fight. And then um, we can uh, organize uh, you know, a classification and uh, reward them with a 3D print. Oh, they loved it. They loved it because it's connecting with many different types of gamification. So each one can find something that, uh, you, you know, uh, answer then 
their own tastes and so uh, some love competition that can have some competition some other life just you know uh, reward and uh, diploma you know something official and other it's just the object I want to 3d print I don't know a Fortnite uh, character whatever so it, they, they find something for themselves I think that students now develop a taste for a different way of learning and so maybe they connect easily to the games they play and maybe they could criticize the game themselves and say okay uh, the game is it, great it because I collaborated and, and it's connected with the way we collaborate in the classroom maybe so it makes them discover that there are different ways of learning. Yes, because uh, very often uh, in normal courses we just deliver the same course for all the students at the same, uh, I would say, rhythm, you see. And in that way of teaching, each one is moving at its own speed and it's okay. On programme des robots et j'aime bien ça. Eh ben, c'est euh, le fonctionnement de défis. J'adore euh, bah, relever des défis comme ça. C'est drôle. So it's up to you now. How do you choose to view your learning material?